Understanding, Hollering and Fright, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might come across in stories, movies, or even in everyday conversations, hollering and fright. We'll explore what it means, when it's used, and how you can use it yourself to enrich your English. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your language skills, understanding such expressions can add depth to your communication. Let's get started. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, hollering and in fright. Hollering refers to a loud cry or shout. It's a way of expressing strong emotion or getting someone's attention. But it's not just any shout, Hollering carries a sense of urgency or intensity. In fright indicates the reason behind the holler, fear. Fright is a sudden intense feeling of fear. So, when someone is in fright, they are experiencing a moment of scare or alarm. Putting them together, hollering in fright, describes a situation where someone shouts or screams loudly because they are scared. This expression is often used in storytelling or descriptive writing to convey a character's reaction to something terrifying. It's a vivid way to show, not just tell, how a character feels. Here are a few scenarios where hollering and fright might be used. In horror or thriller stories, where characters encounter something unexpected or supernatural. In everyday situations that suddenly turn alarming, like someone jumping out from behind a door to surprise another person. In children's tales, to describe characters' reactions to monsters or scary situations. Understanding the context can help you grasp why and how the expression is being used. To solidify your understanding, let's look at some examples of how hollering and fright can be used in sentences. When the lights went out, she started hollering in fright, convinced there was something lurking in the darkness. The sudden appearance of the spider had him hollering in fright, jumping back to avoid it. In the movie, the protagonist was hollering in fright as the villain chased her through the abandoned building. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in expressing a sudden, intense reaction to fear. Congratulations! You've just expanded your English vocabulary by understanding the phrase, hollering in fright. It's a powerful expression that can add drama and intensity to your stories or conversations. Remember, learning a language is not just about memorizing words but also about capturing the emotions and context they convey. We hope this video has been insightful and encourages you to explore more such expressions. Until next time, keep practicing, and don't hesitate to holler, in excitement, of course, when you learn something new.